Now, doing the last story has reminded me of a really extraordinary thing that happened to me. I don't think it was that the lift stuck holiday in Australia. I think it was a different time. And I'd been there for, I think about a month visiting friends and traveling about and stuff. It was when I was doing tubbies. So of course it spent the whole of the summer trapped in incredibly hot fun fur where, while everybody else is sort of lolling about in shorts and strappy vests and everything and you're, you're not getting any sun in here. So um, for the joy also of the fact that I had a job to come back to unheard of in my life hitherto, I um, I used to go away to the southern hemisphere during the English winter so that I could get some of the sun that I'd missed in our summertime. Such wonderful luxury, just divine. Anyway, so I'd, um, I had gone to Australia and I'd had a lovely holiday there visiting friends. Me and my friend Kynan had been on a great surf safari all up the east coast and back. It was the day before I was due to leave and we were having just the last surf off Bondi Beach. And then, you know, time rolled by and we were, oh, well, we'll just kind of go back. We went into Bondi Pavilion, had a quick shower, had a beer and I, oh my goodness, look at the time we've got to go. I've got to get to the airport. And I ran out of the Bondi Pavilion, bang, into this guy. I went, oh, I'm really sorry, I'm so sorry. Colin? And it was an old mate of mine from New Cross in South East London. It was like on the other side of the world. And for all like just the split second timing of bang, that was it, I ran into him, was unbelievable. So we had a little chat, but not too long because, you know, ooh, plain. And then we stayed in touch. Now I, and then I knew he was there. And then the following year, me and my best mate went and we hired his flat. He had a, a nice apartment in one of the towers on the, the south side of Bondi Beach. So, yeah, funny. Really great coincidence. Anything similar in your life?